In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Forge mods to Minecraft 1.21.4 or any other version. Before we get started, it's important to note that you will need to have Java installed to your Mac. So if you don't have it already, I will leave that tutorial linked in the description below. The first thing we need to do is to download the Minecraft 1.21.4 files so we can install Forge later. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher. And then in the versions drop down menu, you want to select 1.21.4. Once you've done this, you want to click on play. When Minecraft opens, this means the files have been downloaded correctly, so you want to click on quit game. And now we need to go ahead and download Forge. To download Forge, we want to open our web browser, and you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net, and I'll leave this website linked in the description below. From here, in the left hand side menu, you want to locate Minecraft 1.21.4, and once you've selected it, you want to click on the installer underneath download latest. After about 5 seconds, a skip button will appear in the top right hand corner, so you want to click on that. And then you want to go ahead and download the Forge installer to your Mac. And for this example, I'm going to download it to my desktop. Now, we need to download the Forge mods that we want to use. So to do this, you want to open your web browser, and you want to go to a modding website of your choice. For this example, I'm going to use modroof.com. From here, we need to scroll down, and you want to click on discover mods. And then you want to search for the mods you want to use. Now to make this easier, you can scroll down, and here on the left hand side menu where it says Loader, you want to select Forge, which will filter all of the mods by Forge Mods. Now we've done this, we want to find a mod, and for this example, I'm going to download Zero's Minimap. Once we're inside the mod page, you want to click on the Versions tab, and now if we scroll down, you want to find the Minecraft version that you want to install mods for. So for this example, it's going to be Minecraft 1.21.4, and you want to make sure it's for the Forge platform. So once we're ready, you want to click on it and then you want to click on the green download button and again, you want to save it to your Mac and for this example, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now we've downloaded Forge and our Forge mods, we just need to go ahead and install Forge. So to do that, you want to open the Forge installer and if you get this error message, it means we need to approve it with our system settings. So to do this, you want to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and you want to click on system settings. Once you're inside your system settings, you want to scroll down and you want to click on privacy and security and then again you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you find the forge label from here you want to click on open anyway and again you want to click on open anyway and then you may need to use your mac password or touch id after a few seconds the forge installer will open and it will look like this so this is pretty simple all we need to do is to make sure install client has been selected and then you want to click on ok and this is going to take a few seconds to install forge to your mac once Forge has been installed, you see this pop up, so you want to click on OK. And now you can get rid of the Forge installer if you'd wish to do so. Now we've installed Forge, we just need to go ahead and install our mods. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher. And then you want to click on installations at the top. And you should see the new Forge profile. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft launcher. From here, you want to click on the file icon next to the Forge profile. And this will open your Minecraft installation folders. Now you want to go ahead and find the mods folder. However, if you don't see one, you may need to create one. So to do this, you want to click on the circle icon at the top and click on new folder. And you want to rename this mods. Now we've done this, you want to click into the mods folder and you simply want to drag and drop all of your Forge mods into that folder. Now we've done that, we can exit out of the file installation folder. And now we just need to go ahead and play Minecraft with our Forge mods. So to do that, you want to click on the play tab and then in the version drop down menu, you want to select the forge option. Now you want to click on play. And then you want to click on I understand the risks and click on play. Once Minecraft has loaded, we will know this has worked because where it says your Minecraft version, it will say forge with the version number and how many mods you have loaded in brackets. You'll also see this new mod button as well. If you want to configure your existing mods, you want to click in the mods button and then you want to select the mods you have installed and click on configure. And here you can see the individual settings for that mod. However, to start playing Minecraft with our mods, we simply want to select a world and start playing just as we normally would. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.